Hi, welcome to Art Appreciation, a time of calm and quiet reflection as we look at a well-known piece of artwork together. Today it's The Harvesters by Peter Bruegel the Elder. It was made in 1565. It's painted in oils on wood. It's 162 centimetres by 119 centimetres and can be found at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, otherwise known as the Met. Peter Bruegel the Elder was born in Brabant in the Netherlands and lived from about 1525 to 1569. He was a painter and printmaker and renowned for his landscapes and peasant scenes, which was very unconventional for the time. He was a pioneer of genre art, that is, capturing everyday life, showing ordinary people about their business. Bruegel lived during the Renaissance, a time when many new ideas were being developed, such as the Protestant Reformation in Northern Europe, with key figures like Martin Luther and John Calvin. He travelled to France and Italy and moved to Antwerp, the commercial capital of the Netherlands and the publishing centre for Northern Europe. There had been a commercial printing revolution during the second half of the 15th century after the invention of the Gutenberg Press. Bruegel worked mainly as a print designer in Antwerp, before turning to painting in 1563, when he married and moved to Brussels. Forty or so of his paintings survive. Bruegel captured folk culture at the time, small figures in imaginary landscapes from a bird's eye perspective. His paintings give an invaluable view of the social aspects of 16th century life, showing country fairs, folk plays, and the labours of the seasons. He had a great eye for detail, as we see in today's painting. The Harvesters was one of a series of six paintings commissioned by a wealthy Antwerp merchant banker for his country villa. Each represent two months of the year and tasks peasants had to achieve during that time, such as bringing in the herd and haymaking. They show everyday life during the seasons. The paintings were hung in the merchant banker's dining room for guests to enjoy. They were conversation pieces and viewers were invited to figure out the small details. It seems it was popular at the time to have players giving comic performances over dinner so the paintings might have provided a backdrop for this. Looking into the painting, we see that it's a hot summer's day in August in the Netherlands. Bruegel invites us to look closely because there are so, sm so many small details to discover. Some of the workers are having a refreshment break. They're tired. Their working day started as soon as it got light, four or five o'clock in the morning, and go on until nightfall at nine or ten p.m. In the centre forefront of the painting, one worker is fast asleep. You can imagine him snoring. Others are enjoying their food under a pear tree for shade. Bowls of milk and bread or slices of bread and cheese are being enjoyed. You might imagine the chatter between mouthfuls or the sound of the crust of the loaf being cut in the basket in the foreground. One peasant is taking a good long drink. Imagine how refreshing that would be on a hot day. They're hungry. There are pears all ready to enjoy on the white apron of the female figure who's eating bread and cheese with her back to us in the forefront. You might imagine the sound of skylarks and the buzzing of bees. Other workers are continuing their labours. Imagine the sound of the scything of the wheat. 
Other figures are gathering together, the sheaves into stooks, bending and tying. On the far right, someone's in a tree shaking down the fruit, whilst two other figures gather the fruit. Beyond them is a church and a graveyard, partially hidden by the trees and shrubs. Over to the left, the scene opens up, giving a view of many other activities. A group of three figures walk along a pathway through the tall wheat. Imagine what the movement of the wheat might sound like in a breeze. One figure seems deep in thought. You might imagine what it would be like walking through the wheat field on a hot summer's day. Beyond them, there's a hay wagon being pulled by an ox, carrying a heavy load. Imagine the creaking of the wagon. Behind the wagon is an enclosed orchard with figures climbing out, having been scrumping. To the right of the hay wagon and further along, three monks in, in stages of undress as they go for a swim in a pond. You might imagine their chatter and splashing. Further to the right is a village green with a group of people playing a game. Imagine their distant calls. In the far distance, through the heat haze, we can see the coast and the ships that are anchored or sailing away. There are also tiny figures on the golden hill. Imagine the laughter and chatter of the merchant banker's dinner guests when they find all the small details in his painting. Now it's time to return to our own space and to leave the harvesters. Gradually notice the room around you, the sights and sounds. Maybe have a stretch and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me.